Philip and I are basically working on a scarab checklist of the scarabs found on Salisbury University campus. Um, it is, you know, an urban campus, so it's interesting to make comparisons with other urban campuses and urban parks. Scarab beetles are really diverse um, in the niches that they can fulfill in the environment. So some of them are decomposers, some of them feed on fruit, some of them are pollinators. So if we can gauge how the scarab population is doing on campus, then we can have a better understanding of how the ecosystem is doing as a whole. So one thing that we've been collecting so far is dung beetles, which are attracted to feces. Um, the main type of feces you're gonna find around this campus might be dog feces. Uh, whereas if you go out into the woods or you go out to Pemberton Park, you're gonna have deer, raccoon, many different animals that are gonna attract other uh, species of scarabs. So that right there cuts down the number of individuals we might find. We're using lots of different uh, methods. We're using some active methods uh, where we're walking around, we're hand collecting, um, we're gonna do some black lighting and try and do that each month. And then we're also using many passive methods where we hang traps with fruit in them. Um, we use different baits and pitfall traps that are in the ground. Um, and we also have like, you might have seen the large tent that we have uh, hanging from a tree over there off of Camden. Um, that's a flight intercept trap where beetles tend to fly along corridors and they'll run into the trap and then fall down into the bottle. From there, we bring them all back here. Uh, Philip's been doing a lot of sorting um, and pinning and pointing, so that's basically the curation end of the collection. Uh, I've always been interested in insects, uh, so I knew when I came here that I wanted to get involved in research. That was uh, one of the biggest reasons I wanted to come to SU. Right now, I'm pretty much doing like exactly what I want to be doing uh, for my career for the rest of my life. So I'm gaining a lot of experience um, and connections that I think will help me a lot later down the line.